Okay, here's a look at some Tinkercad skills uh, in building a couple of bathtubs. So I'm going to make the main body of a bathtub. I'm going to size the box, get the color I want, and then I'm going to duplicate the shape. I'm going to drag it up to make the copy taller. Then I'm going to hold Shift as I shrink that copy back down. By holding Shift, I shrink it proportionally. After I turn it into a hole, I can group it with the original box, but the bathtub has a big hole in it. So I'm going to undo that, and I'm going to lift the hole up a few millimeters and with the lifting cone there in the middle. And when I do that and then group, now I've got something that looks a lot more like a tub. Um, I've got a box there but I think we can do a little better. That would not be a very comfortable bathtub. So I'm gonna actually slide the radius uh, slider a bit and to round off the corners of the hole and then lift it up a bit, stretch it up. And then when I group it, I have a more comfortable bathtub. I'm gonna make a second bathtub now. And this one, I'm gonna adjust the radius uh, to begin with to round it off. Then again I'm going to duplicate. I'm going to lift up with the cone, turn the duplicate into a hole, and shift shrink it a little bit. Next I want to make kind of a, a lip for this bathtub. So I'm going to size uh, this box based on the dimensions of the tub. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger in um, in the length and the width. And I'm going to lift it up so it is even with the top. And then I'm going to use the align tool. I'm going, to sh I'm going to select all the shapes, click align, and then I'm going to click the middle dots. And uh, that's going to align it in the uh, X and Y axes. Now when I group, I'm going to make this one object and it's going to cut through everything and create something that looks a lot more like a bathtub. I'm going to lift it up and I want to put this bathtub on feet. Keep in mind that the two numbers when you lift up something indicate how far you've lifted it that time and then it's also its height from the work plane. So I put in a sphere here and I'm going to stretch it up and uh, make it into a foot and then I'm going to spend a little time positioning it correctly. I like again to use the arrow keys when I'm uh, positioning something in kind of a fine way like this, fine tuning it, look at it from different perspectives. I'm going to duplicate uh, that foot and use the left arrow key to move it, the copy over to the other side, get that one positioned correctly. And when I have that correct, I'm going to duplicate the two feet and I want to slide them over to the other side. So I'm going to go to the snap grid and adjust it to five millimeter increments uh, so I can quickly move it over. And then I'll fine tune with 0.25 millimeter increments to get those feet in the right spot. Now I'm ready to uh, select things, choose a color for this tub, uh, and I'm ready to start designing my, the rest of my bathroom.